Han Master's courses are internationally renowned for their seamless integration with professional practice. The Master of Automotive Systems applies research to directly meet the demand of the industry. Hi, my name is Karel Kural. I'm a research engineer in Han Automotive. And besides that, I'm also involved as a lecturer in Master of Automotive Systems. My background is in vehicle dynamics, but also control modeling and vehicle testing. I choose to work for Han Automotive because of good balance between the theory and the practice. Um, one of my first assignments was to develop a simulation model of the city bus, which was intended for autonomous operation. And actually, we need to validate this model with a real experiment. Since that, I've met articulated vehicles several times, and I realized that I rather enjoy to work in this field, as some vehicle behavior is rather unique compared to the passenger cars. One example for all can be the role mechanics, which can eventually develop in a rollover accident. Rollover is indeed typical for all the vehicles having highly positioned center of gravity. There can be multiple causes that eventually promote the rollover, such as inclined road, very strong side wind, but also inappropriate driving maneuver. Let me now show you an illustrative example of how to solve this problem. So here we see the situation from the real life. The tractor semi-trailer combination is approaching a roundabout and starts to negotiate a curve. The problem is that the driver didn't really count on the fact that he's driving the vehicle with a higher center of gravity, and he did not adjust the speed. This results in a lateral acceleration that is higher than the vehicle is able to deal with. We can see gradual increase of the roll angle, but also lifting of the axles, which eventually ends up in a rollover accident. Let me now show you an illustrative example, which might provide some insight into the problem. To solve the problem, we're gonna start with appropriate simplification we're gonna draw a so-called free body diagram, where we indicate all the forces, reactions, and the movements. We're gonna see the frontal view of the vehicle with the compliant tires, suspension, axle, but also vehicle body. We're gonna start with a steady state drive. There we see that the tire forces are being equal reactions to the vehicle weight that is acting downwards. The vehicle weight is being also simplified because we presume that all the mass is being concentrated into the center of gravity that is precisely in the middle of the vehicle and in a distance hcg above the ground point. Furthermore, we're going to introduce one more simplification by assuming that the vehicle body but also vehicle axle are rotating around the point O. The point O is being placed here in the ground level. Next, let us continue with the situation during the cornering. We see that the vehicle body, as well as the axle, starts to roll around the point O for angle phi, due to the lateral acceleration acting on the center of gravity. Therefore, tire vertical reactions start to change and being not any more symmetrical. We can also see the reaction from the tire cornering force that is proportional to the lateral acceleration and then prevents the vehicle from sliding out. Now we can use the free body diagram as a base to derive the equation of moment equilibrium around point O. That will help us to solve the problem. Firstly, we have here the destabilizing moment from the lateral acceleration acting in negative direction. Then we have a positive stabilizing moment from load transfer. And lastly, we have a negative destabilizing moment coming from the lateral displacement. Since we assume a relatively small angle, we can linearize it. As you can see, we did not include here any moment coming from the tire cornering forces. This is due to the moment arm, which is equal to zero. To finalize the solution, we can rearrange the moment equation when separating the primary destabilizing moment on the left-hand side of the equation. The context of the equation can be now also graphically explained. By assuming that the vehicle mass, as well as the height of the center of gravity, are constants and not changing over the time, for a particular vehicle, we can plot the destabilizing roll moment as a linear function of lateral acceleration. On the other side of the graph, we can plot the right-hand side of the equation as a function of the roll angle. Firstly, the stabilizing moment coming from the load transfer, which initially increases and then became constant as all the weight is being concentrated on the right tire. And secondly, the destabilizing moment of the lateral displacement, which is only linearly dependent on the roll angle, as all other components are constant. Now, summing those two moments together, we obtain a net stabilizing moment. 
we can see that the curve has a clear maximum that also designates the maximum of the total stabilizing moment that the vehicle is able to generate without rolling over. If we then graphically project this maximum into other side of the graph, designating the destabilizing moment, we are able to identify the exact lateral acceleration that cannot be exceeded for a safe vehicle operation. This acceleration is called static rollover threshold and actually solves our problem. As I said at the beginning, this problem is solved with a number of simplifications. And a complete solution of the real behavior would require more time and complexity. If you want to hear more, you're welcome to join our master program.